Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Diseased Pig Pen. As you can see from our last episode, we got the oxygen is all nice and packed up, which has really made the air clean. I realized I um, was doing stuff and I hadn't recorded. So we'll go over kind of what I was talking to myself about. I decided to go Dreco ranching. So we're starting to get the Dreco ranch put together. Uh, the reason for that is I need plastic, I need reed fiber, and we don't get either of those on this base. Now one thing I don't definitely don't have on this base is uh, mealwood. So I think that's the teleporter down there. So I gotta get down there and uh, see if I can get over to the other base and get some mealwood. Because I don't think there is any over here. And we just kind of dug over to the side to see what we got going on. Oh, that's the other thing I want is... Oh, there's a hole up here. Oh, well, let's fix that. And then what I want is a telescope. And I think if I put it with tiles behind it, it will be fine. Oh, what in the... Alright, I gotta... My piping is already confusing. All the hydrogen pipes are kind of in the way. There. That'll work, and then we can dump some extra over here just to help pressurize everything. I don't think it needs a glass wall. Like, I don't think it needs a glass ceiling. I think it just needs uh, the background of space. This rock, and we want battery. Actually, that probably doesn't even need to be insulated. So we're trying to do a few different things in this map, but let me get this queued up first. I, sh uh, I don't have solar panels yet, so I'll have to get power up here. How close are we to solar panels? Oh, we, are, we just about have solar panels, perfect. So yeah, that's one project, get the telescope built, because why not? Second project, we've got this, which I'm going to need hydrogen in. If I think if I do a hydrogen vent right there. And we can dig that, and we can put that wall back in. Okay, and then the other thing is I don't have a bathroom yet because I haven't gotten a clean room and there was something I wanted to, to, to do different this time on that. So that's what I'm gonna queue up right now and I think right over here is a perfectly fine place for it. I just need to dig all this out. And I can get that oxalite out of there. We'll deal with that in a little bit. Oh, this is coming along swimmingly. And I, we got enough glass from the point of interest building that we can build a solar panel. down here and who do we got oh, more pip eggs I will definitely take I have some plans for the pips uh, I don't think I went over this and for those of you new to spaced out you might not know but grub fruit starts as spindly grub fruit that guy and in order to turn it into grub fruit you need to have sweetles uh, grub grubs or something else 
to tend to them, and then they turn into grubfruit, and then that's how you can make grubfruit preserve and all sorts of good food, which we're doing pretty good on. All right, and that is holding air. Yes, it is. And it says skill required, which means I think my dupe can use it. Looks like it. Look at him go. And this just gives my dupe something else to do right now uh, with the automated research. The holdup is the material science. So as soon as that's done, they'll then move to the next one. But until that's done, then nothing. And so far, this is working out quite well. Uh, I am running out of hydrogen, but this should become active in another 10 cycles. To be perfect. Ah, so now we'll work on bathroom next. Step one done, we've got this area dug out. Gonna try and get everything swept off the side while I put in liquid tanks. This is gonna be slightly bigger than my other kill rooms because I don't have a germ sensor. Let me finish queuing it up and we'll show you how it works. And while they're building that, it looks like we have discovered a planetoid. Okay, so this is the one with the gold, aluminum, carbon dioxide, chlorine, minor volcano, and polluted water vent. Man, I am just lucking out on the water vents on these planets. That's awesome. Looks like they kind of updated the fog of war to make it kind of look more fog-like. Eh, neat. Didn't see that before. Of course, didn't really look at the star map before. Eh, a lot more building to do, and then we'll... Take a look at the automation. Yeah, it looks like we are just about there. Oh, we need to sweep that bit of box light up because that will totally mess with me. All right, quick check on the plumbing. We have input pipe connected. All the tanks are connected. Liquid valves are connected. Okay. Do I have any bleach stone or do I need to dig some up? Bleachstone. Looks like we've got some, and I can dig that bit up. And set you to 100. Bleachstone at an 8. Yeah, yeah, you're all upset running through the water. Come on. Perfect. All right, and now we can start the pump. Bang. So that would take care of the oxygen that let the bleach come out of the bleach stone. And then we should be able to pump most of this all the way down. And we're pumping the bleach up into the top. Oh, uh, eh, it'll pump it out eventually. We're not too worried about that. So, automation-wise, since they added an automation sensor to these, they output a, re a red signal when it's full and a green signal when it's empty. So I'm going to set this to 75, 25, and that one. So these guys have automation that now says if this tank is 75% full, send a red signal, comes out, hits this nut gate, flips it back into a green signal, into an AND gate. That AND gate can turn on the liquid valve. If you have three full tanks of germy polluted water, they will be clean by the time it comes out the other side. So if this tank is 75% full, these three have to be full, and boom, you got clean water. And then these are just set to 50% and flipped. So they can only come on opposite each other. So let's start pumping polluted water into there. Oh no, that's the filter. We want the polluted water is right here. 
And I also need some bathrooms. Or toilets, anyway. Yeah, we'll clean up the piping later. All right, now let's build two toilets. And a sink. Two toilets are in. With the third toilet and sink going. Oh, I should set that to one way so that way they can't go the wrong way through the bathroom. feeding clean water in until I get this whole thing recirculating. And I leave a gap between these just so I can put uh, artwork and s statues and stuff to make the decor better inside the bathroom because who wants... I mean, nobody likes a dirty bathroom. I usually have my bathrooms face the other way. Plenty of water, I can hook this back up and start to pre-fill all of these tanks. And right now I don't have them connected because we're trying to get the air swapped over to chlorine, which is just gonna take a while. Blair seed, I don't know if I need them, but sure. How's this water? Not germy at all. Perfect. Alright. That is step one done. We now have washroom. I do want to do something with that germy polluted water. I'll have to think about that. Alright. Next on the list. We want that glass. We want all of this stuff. Let's drop a letter. Oh, we got some vests. Let's put Stinky in a warm sweater. I think I had another warm sweater over here. wants it, we'll give it to Bubbles. Oh good, these are my teleporters. Now I should be able to see the destination. Very nice. Um, isn't this one supposed to have oil wells? I'm confused. I thought this one had oil wells on the swamp start. Okay. Um, a playthrough without oil might be real interesting. Okay, but now I can see... Not much. Weird. All right, well, we'll have to see when we get over there. How's the research coming? 
map, star map research. Man, my research was just cranking it out. I love it. Yeah, it's still in the world, Jin, that you get this little bit of crude oil. Let's just mop all that up, even though I have no idea what the heck we can do with it. Let's deconstruct all of the background buildings. Anything to inspect here? Nah, everything's just been nothing of interest. I don't have the demolished skill or I'd be taking that stuff out as well. Take all that out. Ooh, another vent. I think they made these out of... Yeah, those are made out of obsidian now. What are you? Oh, that's my polluted water vent. Nice. We are set on water on this map. How's my chlorine doing? Now we're getting a nice little layer of it. By having this output vent for the chlorine up here on top, anytime there's oxygen over that vent, the chlorine can override it. So that should get me all the way cleaned up in here by having this pump down here, sending the chlorine up to the top. That's the idea, that's what we're testing. This other vent was in case I needed to pump chlorine in from somewhere else, but I think this will work. It's gonna start activating these. So I think I'm going to have to send my digger over to the other base and see what we find. What I'm really hoping is that once I send a dupe over there, I can start to get the meal wood out of the dock. Yeah, that one's active. They're waiting on rad bolts, but... Yeah, so when does my... Ah, right, he's about to go to sleep. Once he wakes up, we'll send him over. All right, we just woke up. Let's see what we find. Stinky. Hey, that's, you do find an entry in there. Okay. All right, we definitely got mealwood. We got some bedrooms. We got a friend. What I'm looking for is the teleporters. And you are input, perfect, that's the one that I want. So let's just go straight that direction. Oh, I don't have any sandstone yet, but I can get some right there. Oh, and there's a vent. That is liquid sulfur. We got ethanol. I mean, it's looking normal. It just didn't say that there were oil wells here, which is weird. I don't know if you require a skill. No, I think you just need toggling. Ceiling collapse. All right, let's let him dig down there. See if he can activate that. It's nice that they gave me a water pump full of salt water. And sticky of which, sticky's gonna make a mess. And that's okay. This should all be somewhat cold. I can just dump it straight down. There is a, there's oil over here. Is there just no oil wells, or does that not show up on that list? 
Whatever. We'll see once it gets down there. All right, Sticky's down here. Uh, field research. Now you do have to use the researcher to get there. That's too bad. Why are you making that out of sediment rock? Make that out of sandstone, please. These four kids. Okay, good. There is an oil well. That definitely had me worried. I'm not entirely sure what I would have done. If there were no oil wells. But there's at least one. Some slicksters. We're good. And since Stinky's stress is all nice and high, let's just get him out of here. I hate the fact that you have to click C destination. I know the destination. It's where I just was. And teleport. Okay, so once those recharge, I can send my researcher over to activate it, and then I can ship back some muckroot. Or not muckroot, mealwood. Meal lice. Plants. Oh, would you look at that? I don't think I need to pump anymore. So let's just turn you off of power. And we'll turn you off. We can disconnect that. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to that at all. Never mind. We need that connected. We need you disconnected. Let's fill up the pipes here real quick. And if we check our automation, these are still green because these aren't full yet. But these tanks no longer have any germs in them. And so we're going to hook these pipes up so this can all start rotating. And they should, yeah, bounce back and forth, which is exactly right, because these are also bouncing back and forth. And that way any germy water does rotate on through. All right. You're about a quarter full, so... Yeah, I'll fill this pipe back up manually. And then we'll test the automation. I do have a dupe trained up to Mechtronics, so I can start to get all of this queued up. Oh, yeah, I need more refined metal. Okay. But we're going to need shoots. Probably do the sorting. Right there is fine. All right, lots of building left to do. Gotta be just about there. You should be turning red soon. Yep, there it is. You go into there and you do that. Yeah, so nice, perfectly clean water. Once that gets low enough, it turns back off and there's plenty of room to store extra. I'm like, I am sure I will redo this to be able to do 10 kilos a second, but that's the idea. That's the way of getting clean water without any plastic. How'd we end up? We ended up with one tile of oxygen. Like, I kind of want to turn the fan back on just to eat it, but that is fine. 
And we're just about done recharging. Nice. And I haven't turned the hydrogen on in here yet until I get uh, carbon dioxide down in these bottom layers. So I just want my dupes in there breathing. The teleporter has recharged. The so bubbles, after their next sleep cycle, I'll send them over to activate that. I turned this off, so I'm not sending any rad bolts over until my researcher gets back to use them. Space-wise, area is complete. I cranked that out pretty darn quick, and that's all we saw. So yeah, let's wait for them to get some sleep. Then we'll uh, put them in an, an envelope. And Bubbles is awake. Let's get him going. Turn up some of that water. Alright, then you should come over immediately. Activate that. Perfect. We need a very small amount of power. You allow manual use. Seed. It would. this bit. And there it goes. And now... Meal with seed. Ah, oh, it's like a plan came together and everything. Ah, right, you're... Got a couple more minutes left in your recharge. What else can I have you do? Well, might as well have you grab some more mealwood. What's that? Bristle fairy. Actually, let's sit over some of those. I don't know if there's any of those on the other map. And boom! Done! Bubbles, let's get you out of here. Nice quick trip. I Man, I could have them go around and activate the other one, but I don't care about that right now. Just about one cycle's worth of time. Oh. Oh, didn't quite get you back in time. It was close, though. All right, Millwood. Now we need some Drekos. There's one there. Thought there was some over here. Well, my friend, looks like you're my Dreko. Oh, I could also just come in this way. That's probably faster. Fun part, can I get my rancher to the Dreco? They do love to run around. Let's grab a couple more beetles.
Come on, rancher. Where'd you go? that gap, aren't you? My rancher asleep? You're not a rancher. Oh, you're over there, but of course the Dreco went someplace I can't freaking get to it. get them. Michael Hammond at an eight. There he is. Gotcha. You at a seven. We successfully have a Draco, and we are all out of time. So thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you like this new germ killing room for doing it without plastic. And yeah, Draco Ranch, I'll start pumping some hydrogen in. We'll get some power to it, and we'll, we'll have reed fiber. Thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully, God, we're just about at cycle 100. Hopefully you're liking the diseased pig pen. I am very happy that there's uh, oil wells over here. That was going to be a bit of a worry. Anyway, we will see you next time.